I'm doing a build battle against my best friend. But what he doesn't know is I'll be cheating with Slash Slash Scare. So I make him poop his pants. You know what I mean? My build is going to be so much scarier than whatever you're building. What? Oh, no, it's not. But listen, Pip, here are the rules, okay? We have until the sun goes down to build the best and scariest builds we've ever seen in Minecraft. But Louie, how are we going to know whose build is the scariest? Well, we are going to play through each other's builds, and the person who screams the loudest loses! So whoever gets the least scared wins. Oh, Louie, you're going to scream so loud in my place! Oh, no, I'm not. You're going down, Pip. All right, Louie. I'm going to make a giant ghost. Oh, yeah? I'm not even scared of ghosts anymore. <laughs> Guys, are you scared of ghosts? I don't think they're very scary. But while you're building that dumb ghost, I'm going to build a scary haunted house. So I'm going to need some really dark and scary blocks. Let's get some spruce logs, some strict spruce logs, and let's get some really scary looking spruce leaves. Then I'm going to use obsidian, some bookshelves, and for the walls of this haunted house, I'm going to use stone bricks. Because that's a really scary block. I'll also use some mossy ones too. Let's get started on this haunted house build. So first of all, I'm going to build up the main hallway that takes you into the haunted house. I'll build a nice big long hallway going into this thing. After all, what is scarier than a long hallway with seemingly nothing inside? So here we go. I'll build a nice big square like this. And now all I have to do is fill it up with stone bricks. This will be the wall for the haunted house. And once in a while, I'll also add a bunch of mossy stone bricks to make it look old and scary. This is looking really good so far. What do you guys think? Is this better than whatever Pip is building? Louis, it's not done yet. Stop saying your build is better than mine. Oh, fine. But just this once. After all, this haunted house is going to be filled with really scary traps. It won't just be any regular looking haunted house. It's going to have some really, really scary jump scares inside. And you're going to poop your pants, Pip. Oh, Louie, I'm not going to poop my pants. You're going to poop your pants. Uh-huh. Sure thing. <laughs> we'll see about that. But anyways, I have completed one of the main rooms to this haunted house. Now it's just time to add some extra details on it. Like, I'll go ahead and put obsidian on the floor because obsidian is a really scary block and it reminds me of the nether. So let me just put this all over the ground and boom. But wait a second, guys. Did I forget to mention that I'm not only going to be building a scary house, I'm also going to be using slash slash scare to scare Pip. And you know what? I think I'll do that right now. So let me go ahead and type slash slash scare. And look at what just happened. It turned me into Freddy Fazbear. This must be the best possible thing that scares Pip. Now it's just time to sneak up on him. So let's go ahead and find a way to get over there without him seeing me. I think the best bet is me going invisible. So let me get an invisibility potion. And also let's get some milk as well. So I can appear right in front of him. Now let's go invisible, and let's go. All right, let's see what he's doing. Oh, I'm building a really scary ghost right now. This is going to scare Louis so much. Pip's here talking about me getting scared, but just watch this, guys. I'm going to appear right in front of his eyes. He's looking right here. Just give me a second. I'll stand in this area right here so he can't place any more blocks. Then he'll get confused. All right, let's just put black wool. Here we go. Gray He's getting wool all the way down. Wait, why won't it let me put wool here? Here we go, guys. Now's my chance. I'm going to slash slash scare him. Ah! Yeah, no! you better run! Get away! Oh, 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 oh. Louis, I quit this build challenge! I don't think I want to do this anymore! Uh, wait, why, Pip? What's going on? Um, there's a giant Freddy Fazbear chasing me! Wait, uh, no way! Let me come out of my base and see him! Uh, come out, Louis, come out! Right now! 
All right, guys, while Pip is running away scared, I'm going to go back and walk back to myself. And then I'm going to come out and say he's lying to me. All right, let me just demorph really quickly. Come on, let's get me out of this ready form and boom. All right, let's go out of my base now. Uh, Pip, uh, hello, are you here? Louis, where did he go? He was just chasing me. Oh, what do you mean he was just chasing you? There's nothing here. Are you lying to me? No, no, Louis. I wouldn't lie to you right now. There was a huge, giant, pretty fast bird just chasing me all around my plot. Uh-huh. I do not believe you at all, Pip. There is no way Freddy Fazbear exists in real life. Uh-oh. Why do you not believe me, Louie? Why do you think I would just lie about that? You're probably lying so you can stop me from building my house. Or, uh, you know what? Just keep the building your ghost. That's, that's not true, Louie. Guys, this is so funny. Pip is probably so confused right now. And while he's confused and scared, and probably not working on his build because he's distracted, I can work on mine! So let's build this thing really quickly. I'm going to need the Wand of Symmetry for this. It's going to make it so much easier for me to build. Let's go ahead and place it right here on octagonal mode. And then I can build the actual shape for the haunted house! I need to make sure this thing is really spooky. So let's keep building the walls up out of these bricks like this and make the shape of the haunted house dip in like this. This is a really scary shape. Now let's just add some more details to the inside like this. And this is going to be a scary spiral. Pip is going to go all the way up into this haunted house and get super scared. But first of all, let me go ahead and break through this wall here so he can even make it inside. There we go. This is going to be scary. Now all I have to do is just complete the shape of the ground. So I'm going to break a ton of blocks like this. And there's going to be four rooms inside of this place that are really scary. So first, let me go ahead and build a cross with this obsidian. This is going to be the main footpath where Pip can walk through the haunted house. And then I'll get rid of this grass and I'll go ahead and make all of these blocks into wood like that. So now we have the floors for four different rooms. It's actually now time to build up the rooms themselves and make them really scary. So I'll go ahead and add some outlines just so that I can put a room on each side. All right, let's go on the inside here and make all of these rooms out of these bricks. As you guys know, bricks are kind of scary, especially on abandoned buildings. And look at the shape of this place. It looks really scary. There's so many corners. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly just add a roof out of obsidian like this so that I could maybe have a second floor if I really want one. There we go. This haunted house is looking really scary so far. But with all of these corners inside of this place, I should be able to put some jump scares around. So let's go ahead and do that. Around this corner, I think I'll put an armor stand like this. And I'll place it right here. I'm going to get some Joker armor. And as you guys know, the Joker looks like a killer clown. So when Pip walks around this corner, he's gonna get the scare of his life. I think I'll do it on the other side as well. That would be so funny. But now, guys, I'm going to add one more jump scare in here. Look at this. I'm going to get some ice and place it right here. And now all I have to do is take this end of this room and turn this into a slime block. Let me show you how this device I'm making works. It's going to shoot out an armor stand right over here and into Pip's face. And I'm also going to go ahead and grab a button too. And that button is going to power this redstone underneath here into that room down there. So let's go ahead and just do this really quickly. I'll go down here and I'll mine out a single block about here. Now I'll place some redstone coming down into this piston here. And it's going to be attached to a slime block. And down there is going to be my scary armor stand that's going to launch out a scary mob at him. And I think the scary mob is going to be this scary knight armor. Look how scary it looks, guys. It looks really freaky, and it's going to jump straight out at him. 
All right, there we go. Let's just add a little area on the roof here so it doesn't go too high when it's launched. Now, if I press this button, it'll launch it up into the air. And all I have to do now is get another piston. And I'm going to place it back here just like that with some more slime blocks on it. Boom, boom, boom. Now I just need to run this redstone around this piston and into the one up here. So let's go ahead and power this with redstone and have it come back down underground. And boom, this device should now work and it's going to scare the socks off of Pip. All right, let's press the button and whoa, that's so scary. But I think I can make it way scarier. Let me just go ahead and place my armor stand back. Put all the armor on top. But now, guys, I'm going to add one more detail to this scary room. Watch this. I'm going to get some stained glass from my creative inventory. And it's going to be black stained glass. Now, all I need is some ghost blocks. And you'll see why in a second. Because if I place some black stained glass right here, and then place some ghost blocks on the back of it, as you can see, it gets darker and darker and darker. So it's like a really scary hallway. So it makes a really scary hallway effect like that. Look how scary that is. Now let's just block up all of the walls here with obsidian so that it looks really dark and scary. And this is going to be such an amazing fright. Pip is going to be so scared by this. Let me just set it up one more time to make sure it works. And then we can scare Pip's face off. Let's just put the armor on this and let's click the button. Here we go. Boom. And oh! It even scared me. All right, let's put that armor back and that trap should be set. Pip is going to scream so loud. You know what? I have an idea on how I can scare him even more with this thing. I'll put a sign right next to it saying, press button for free seeds because I know he loves to eat seeds. So he'll be expecting some seeds to come down and he'll get jump scared. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a few scary rooms on the sides. So let's go ahead and get some doors and let's place some down like this. And I think I'm going to do some more jump scares just at the doorways like this. This way when Pip walks in through one of these doors, he'll get jump scared by a really scary night. But in this room, I need to add some really frightening things. And to scare Pip, I think I've got a good idea. He's really scared of ducks dying. So let me go ahead and add some ducks. But not just any regular ducks. Some really, really terrifying ducks for him. I'll get some leads and I'll get some ducks like this. And I'll attach them to these fences up in the air. Look at this. Now I'll just break them going down into the ground here. So they fall down and they get just suspended in the air like this. And now all I have to do is just add some of these details around the walls in the bottom of this area. And this is where I'm going to put a scary lava pit. Pip is going to be terrified. He's going to look down there and see those ducks hanging over the lava and be so scared for them. Now let's just get some fences and put them right there. Pip is going to look down there and scream. But guys, in this room, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to break down this wall because I've got a really good idea. I'm going to make a parkour room that is suspended over lava. And Pip is really scared of becoming KFC. So I'll scare him by making him think he's about to drop into some really scary lava. I just need to make sure this room is long enough. And there we go. I've added a massive lava area here. And what I'm going to do as well is just add some walls. And here we go, guys. I've just made a large hallway going all the way to the end. And I think to make Pip want to come to the end, I'm going to get one of these yellow showcases. And I'm going to put some seeds inside. So he sees them all the way from over here and needs to do the parkour to get them. But I think the scariest part for Pip is that he's going to have to jump over all of that lava. 
which might just turn him into KFC. So let's go and make some really difficult jumps so that he has to do some very difficult parkour for this. Let's do this jump right here. I'll do a fence jump over here, which is almost impossible. So I'll put a carpet on top like that so he can jump over. Then he'll have to jump down there all the way to the ground. And I'm going to add a redstone fan which will have a button on it. What this basically is, is when I press this button, it turns on. So if I stand here and press this button, it will blow me forwards. So I'll make it so that Pip has to blow himself with this fan to make this jump. Well, he can make that one. Let's make it one block harder, like that. There is no way Pip can make that jump without burning in the lava. So he's going to have to press this button and use the fan to jump across. Then I'll do some really small fence parkour jumps and he's made it. But now I've done that parkour room, it's time to do something else. And I think I'll add a room over here, just next to this jump scare room. And I think I'm going to fill that room with these scary black stained glass ghost blocks so that the room is really dark and you can barely see around. Let's go ahead and just add all of these in. This room is going to be really scary to walk through. So let me just fill this thing absolutely full of these black stained glass. Look, I can barely see through the room all the way to the other side. This looks really spooky. And look at that. I can barely see to the end of the room. So I should put a scary jump scare in the corner. I think I'll add one more of these armor stands. These jump scares are really funny. So what I'm going to do is get some of these pieces of armor like this. And look at this one. Isn't that really scary, guys? Right in the corner of the room, there is a really spooky skeleton. And if you don't look hard enough, you won't even notice it. So Pip's going to run into this room and get jump scared. Do you think these scares are going to be good enough to scare him, guys? Oh, comment down below. But wait a second, guys. I think I just had a good idea. I could do something similar to that trap over there, but in this main hallway. I'll add it right here in this hallway. And I'll have it so that Pip has to stand on a pressure plate. Let me just make this a little bit easier here. And I'll put the pressure plates in the middle there. This will be connected to a piston, which is going to scare him. All right, here we go. Let's do this again. So I'll get a piston right here. And I'll put a slime block on the side of it. Now, I just need to get some redstone dust. And I'll run it all the way down into the piston. So now, if I stand on this pressure plate, you should hear the piston go off. That sounds about really quickly, like this. And I think I'll put a wither skeleton skull on top of it. Look how spooky that looks. Now I just need to get some of this armor and look at that. That is a super scary looking skeleton. So when I stand on this pressure plate, it's going to shoot the skeleton off like that. But I want to make it so that a trap door opens and closes. So I'll get one just like this. And when I stand on this pressure plate, I want it to bounce up out and then close. So I'll have a redstone repeat to go through here with some redstone Stone dust going all the way over to that right there. Let me just run some redstone around. And I'll have it run straight into a block that is connected to a redstone torch. And I'll have it run right into the back of this redstone torch. So let me go ahead and get a repeater and have it come all the way around to the redstone here. So now when I step on this pressure plate, it should close that trap door. Hopefully. And boom! It worked! So let's test out our machine. And boom! The skeleton jumps out and scares Pip! And then when he steps off, it drops right back down into the ground. And then it does it again! Whoa! And then drops right back down. It's super good! I'm also going to put some redstone around on the ground. Like someone has been murdered here! Like there's tons of blood on the ground! Look how scary that looks! Alright guys, I have a really good idea for what the next room is going to be. I'm going to have a hole right in here just like this. And I'm going to go ahead and fill this hole in with a bunch of wood like this. Now, if I fill in this ground, I could put a bunch of scary mobs in here. And what better mobs than some zombies? Let's put a ton of them in this hole. And then when Pip walks into this room, I'm gonna push him in the hole. That's gonna be super scary for Pip. But you know what, guys? I have got a ton of really scary things in my base, but 
I just realized I haven't even put a roof on my haunted house. So let's get started on that. I'm going to get some of these limestone brick stairs. And these things look really scary and very, very bleak. Just like a really dirty old haunted house. So let's build up our roof out of these blocks right here. And no, that's looking a bit too thin. I'm going to make the roof a little thicker. So let's make it out of these bricks like this. Place these bricks in the way here. And then these limestone stairs coming back. And look how much better that looks. Boom! All right, let's just do that now. Let's do this going up here and then back down, going down into the side of the building like this. And then we just have to work it out by just going down here and adding a nice big thick roof. Um, this is looking a little strange, but I should be able to fix it like that. And Oh, wait, one side is uh, longer than the other. Let me just fix that. There we go. This is looking really scary. And I'll put these spruce logs up there to fill in that gap. Now it's just time to start filling up all of the space that we think the roof should be in. So let's go ahead and add a ton of blocks going over here. And this is where the roof is going to go for this hallway. I want to make sure this thing does look scary on the outside as well. Otherwise, Pip is not going to be scared at all to go inside. And then I might lose this build challenge. Well, Louise, you're going to be so scared over my ghost. Uh-huh. Let me see this ghost really quickly. And uh, whoa, this actually looks pretty good. Are you doing like a pixel art ghost? Yep, Louie, and it's going to have so many things inside that's going to scare you. Whoa, that's so spooky. But wait a second. How are you going to build things inside of it? It's one block thick. Oh, don't you worry, Louie. There will be an inside. Um, okay. Well, hopefully the inside isn't as invisible as that ghost. <laughs> Oh, but anyways, guys, while Pip is working on that really, uh, not very spooky ghost, I'm going to make another roof that comes down the side of this hallway, too. So I have two hallways with two roofs going into a really big tower room. That's really scary. Let's just go ahead and build up this roof shape. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in these blocks right here. And these are the ones that the stairs are going to go on top of. This will connect all the way to the main haunted house. And and it'll definitely make it look a lot better than just a flat roof like this. I want this thing to look spooky, not like a really bad factory. Did you guys ever see that Willy Wonka chocolate factory? It was a really bad idea. And for some reason, they were trying to be scary. It's Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. What, what are you talking about, Louie? I made that. Wait, you made that? Oh, Pip, you should have been careful. You used too much AI. Well, Louie, isn't AI pretty scary? I mean, AI is taking over the world. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, anyways, even if it wanted to take my job, it couldn't. Because I cannot be replaced with a robot. <laughs> There's no way. Well, Louie, how do I know you're not a robot right now? Uh, be because I'm not? Guys, type in the comments down below. Louie is not a robot. I, I need to convince Pip I'm not. But anyways, I'm going to have this roof wrapped around over here. I don't really need to worry too much about what goes on this tower area because no one is going up to the top here. So I can save a little bit of time building this roof. It looks kind of nice from the outside. If you go down here, you wouldn't even notice it has a really flat roof at the back. Unless you go over there. And there we go. This roof is almost complete. I have one more row of little tiny ladders to go. And boom, we're done with that. Now it's just time to go around the outside like this with these limestone stairs. Just to add a little bit of extra detail and, and hopefully make this look a little less strange. What do you guys think of my build so far? Do you think it's really scary? Like the video if you do. But anyways, let's get this roof on. It's almost there. And then once it's on, I can start working on some more scary traps on the inside. And here we go. We are almost done with this row of stairs. And boom. Look at that. Let's just put some limestone bricks over the top. Just so that it doesn't look too... Uh, what's the word? Ugly. Oh, Louie, why are you making your roof out of those disgusting brown bricks? 
Well, it's got to look scary, Pip. Come on. And after all, if I make the roof out of really scary looking dirty blocks, then you'll be more likely to get really spooked out. Um, Louie, I'm not going to be scared. I'm just going to be disgusted. Um, yeah, but that makes sense. If you're disgusted and then you walk inside somewhere, you're going to be so scared that you're going to get dirty. Well, Louie, I'm not scared of getting dirty. I bathe in mud all the time. What? Uh, uh, you know what? I don't even want to know, Pip. That is uh, very strange. But there we are, guys. The roof is completed, and uh, Pip is no wiser at how scary my base is going to be. Just look! Woo! But now I need, like, one or two more scary, scary traps. So I think I'm going to make one back here, and I'm going to make a scary graveyard. Yeah, that's a really good idea. I'm going to get some dirt, some coal dirt, some of this puzzle, and I'll also get a shovel too. And now let's go around the outside with these oak fences like this. This is where the graveyard is going to be, just like this. Perfect! But now I need to add some details. So I'm going to go around all of the ground and just mess it up so it looks like it hasn't been cut in a long time and it's decaying. I think this looks pretty good. But let's also add some pods all around because pods all is what makes it look like it's decaying. This is the kind of grass that grows on the mushroom islands. So it has no nutrients left inside of it. And then I'll add some coarse dirt. And with coarse dirt, no grass can grow on top. So there'll be absolutely no grass left. And boom, that is the perfect amount of dirt and grass for our graveyard. Now it's time to build it. And I'm going to get some really scary headstones. Look at this. I'll put one right there with some gravel in front of it. This way, it looks like someone's been buried under the ground. Ooh. And there we go, guys. We have a bunch of scary graves. But let's make it even scarier by putting a bunch of pumpkins everywhere. This way, it's going to look all Halloween-y and scary. Pippa hates pumpkins. He thinks they're terrifying. But oh my gosh, guys. Pip's base is coming along really well. Maybe I should do a slash slash scare on it. Wait, I forgot I had that. Let's do it right now. So let's go and look at Pip's base really quickly. Let me just get to a nice point here. Let's look up and do slash slash scare. And boom. Look at that. It removed the tooth from the ghost and then got rid of its eyes. Now it just looks really silly. Wait, what just happened? Why does my face look so disgusting? <laughs> Pip, that is so funny. There is absolutely no way you just made your face look that bad. No, Louie, I'm putting these eyes back. I don't know what happened to them. They were just there a second ago. Well, I don't know, Pip. Maybe you just got rid of it without realizing. But anyways, guys, now that I've ruined Pip's face, let's get started on the next part of my build. Look, I've done all of these pumpkins, but now I have to do something on the opposite side. Something even scarier. So I think I'll do a scary roller coaster. Starting from right here. Let's go ahead and add the roller coaster in. So to make one, I'm going to add some powered rails, some regular rails. I'll also get a button so I can power it. And now let's put the powered rails down. Let's put a ton of minecarts on this thing like this. And now let's start on the roller coaster. It's going to be really scary. So I've got to make it go around in circles. And it has to definitely scare Pip. So we need to add some really cool things to this. I'll make sure there's powered rails on this thing just so that it can drive really far. Now watch this. I'm going to do a big pit of lava. And this is going to really scare Pip. He's going to think he's about to fall and die in the lava. It's going to be so scary for him. So let me go ahead and grab some lava and put it inside of this scary roller coaster. Here we go. This is looking really good. But to get over the top, I'm going to give myself some barrier blocks. 
And this way, I can make the roller coaster keep going over the top of these barrier blocks. And Pip won't even realize. He'll see that and think he's going to fall through into the lava. And now that I've made this lava scare, I'm going to make this roller coaster look a lot scarier. So I'm going to use this stone button to make the ground look different. And now, guys, watch this. If I use this on the ground, it makes the ground look really scary and all decayed and terrifying. So I'll put it all around like this. And boom, this is awesome looking. I'm going to put some walls around the place that make this thing look really decayed and scary. I'll make some brick walls that connect to these cobblestone walls. And I'll place them all around so they look like scary spikes. I'm also going to make this roller coaster turn around like this. And then I'm going to have it go straight into a spike pit. I'm going to make Pip really scared that he's going to fall into some spikes and die. But then, at the last second, the roller coaster will turn around. And it'll take him around the spikes. Then he'll think it's going right back to the start. But it's going to turn again and dodge him completely. All right, but that roller coaster is looking super scary so far. But now, it's time to add a really, really scary drop. And Pip hates roller coasters that have drops on them. So let's go all the way up here. It's going to get really spooky. I'll go all the way up the side of this roller coaster. Then I'm going to put an emerald fan down on the ground. This is going to make it so that the roller coaster shoots up into the air. Look, I'll push one of these minecarts on the track now to show you what will happen. It'll go over the lava, around the spikes, up onto the drop, and then shoot upwards. Now all I have to do is just add an emerald fan here, and this should launch Pip right back onto the roller coaster, which will be really scary for him. I know he absolutely hates roller coasters that go really high up. So let's go ahead and see what would happen here. Let's put the minecarts and push it on, and whoa! Then he drops back down and keeps going. And, oh, wow. That just goes all the way back down onto the track. Maybe I should do that. I'll make a scary infinite roller coaster that drops you all the way off at the end. So we'll push it all the way up. It'll launch the roller coaster over. And then it'll shoot off the edge and fall all the way down before going again. <laughs> Pip is going to be so scared. This is the perfect roller coaster. I absolutely love it. And whoa, look at what Pip built. How did he do that? Oh, Pip, are you in there? What's going on? Hello, Louie. Um, Pip, are you trying to scare me? No. Oh, my gosh. You know I can see your name above your head, right? It's going to take more than that to freak me out. I don't see a name up there. I know you don't. I can't see my name tag, but I can see yours. I don't believe you. Oh, my gosh. You know what? You don't have to believe me. Ah! No! Oh, okay. That actually did scare me a little bit. <laughs> you know what? Pip was acting really weird, guys, but... Uh, wait a second. I think we're out of time for this build challenge. Oh, no. I hope my base is scary enough. Pip! Pip, we're out of time! All right, Louie. I'm finished. Okay, how about this, Pip? We are going to play through each other's builds now, and whoever screams the loudest loses! Deal, Louie. I'm never going to scream. Okay, well, how about this? I'll play your bass first, and wait, is this a boo from Super Mario? Yep, Louie. It scares me every time I play the game. Yeah, these things don't really scare me. There's, like, plenty of things scarier in Mario, like how he's a plumber but never does his job. Yep, and every time at the end of the level, he has to make a super far jump to get on that flag. Oh, yeah, that actually makes sense. I wonder how he doesn't get a wedgie. But anyways, that's enough of that. Let's go and check out your inside of your build. I'm going to put myself in survival mode. Let's do it, Louie. Get into survival mode and be prepared to be scared. All right, I'm going inside now. And oh my gosh, there's a bunch of skeleton heads on the floor. And did you kill some villagers to put them on chains? Um, anyways. Oh my gosh, Pip is a murderer, guys. This is... This is creepy. Oh, you're only just getting started, Louie. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a dead cow on the floor. This is so sad. 
But Louie, you're going to hate what's around this corner. Oh, oh I hope it's nothing scary. And oh my gosh! It's Hero Bride! Yep, Louie, my building teacher. And Louie, that was quite the loud scream. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't scream. It was just, uh, uh um, uh, it was me uh, showing how much I liked Hero Bride. Uh huh. Oh, but, anyways, come on. Let's keep moving. And. Uh, Pip, do you really think I'm scared of this? It's a tiny little zombie plushie. It's more cute than scary. What? But it's like a baby zombie. Baby zombies are scary, so surely this is too. I don't think so, Pip. That oh. doesn't scare you. Turn around! Turn, turn around? Whoa! Oh, uh, that wasn't too scary. It's just a skeleton. I mean, I could just punch it and it would fall apart. Oh, what about this sheep? Surely the sheep scares you. Wait, that, that's just funny. It's just jumping around in the air. That's actually really fun to watch. Boing, boing. No, no, Louie. Stop, stop. It's it's getting super close to the fire. You're probably scared of the sheep going on fire, aren't you, Louie? Um, no. Y you know what? I'm just gonna let this sheep off the hook. I'm gonna put it out of its misery. All right. Come on, sheepy, sheepy. Come on. Uh, uh. Yeah! Oh no. Um, it died. Uh, Louis, you're going to jail for murder. But anyways, let's continue. All right. There's a creeper face here, and that's not scary at all, Pip. This haunted house is nothing compared to mine. Louis, you've only seen half of it. It's going to get even scarier. All right, let's keep going. Here we go. And whoa! Oh, there's a ghost around the corner. <laughs> How did you do that? I have my ways, Louie, but if I told you, you might start to cheat. Okay, let me walk past it and... Wait, you just picked it up! <laughs> All right, this is really weird. I want one of my own. Look, I've got one of my own now! And, uh, wait a second. Um, he just came back. Okay, never mind, but... What is this room, Pip? It's just a pool. This is, this is actually really fun! Well, Louie, humans are... Scared of water. So are you scared now? <laughs> uh, only some humans are scared of water, you know. This is just not scary at all. All right, Louie. Well, if that doesn't scare you, my next trap will. Wait, trap? I'm, I'm really scared of traps. <laughs> uh, wait, Pip, is that the trap? Yep. Um, It's just a duck looking at me with its beady eyes. I mean, I could probably kill it. Look, free chicken. What? Louie, you're here to get scared, not to eat KFC. Oh, well, sorry. You put me in the vicinity of a duck. I'm obviously going to try to eat it. Come here, chicky chicky. Oh, my gosh, Louie. But you screamed about ten times while doing my scare house. No, I didn't. I only got scared about two or three times. But you're going to get scared about a million times in my base. Come on. I don't believe you, Louie. Follow me. All right, Pip. Welcome to my scary haunted house. I hope you're going to enjoy this. Oh, Louie, I'm great at scare houses. Come on, how do I go in this place? Ooh, what is this pressure plate doing? Wait, oh, oh, I mean, ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, oh, that's just a skeleton. Pip, I mean, did you just scream a tiny bit? N no, no, I was just saying, hey, skeleton, like, hey, mm -hmm. hey, hey, okay. like, you know? That is the first time you screamed in my base. If you scream two more times, I win! Louis, that didn't count. All right, Pip, come on. Where do you want to go first, left or right? Um, wait, Louis, there's a sign right here. Wait, oh, look, it says press the button for free seeds. How about you press it, Pip? Free seeds? But where did the seeds even come from? And... Why are there jokers all around? Because clowns are really scary. Did you get scared of them? No, Louie, but I bet you get scared now! <gasps> <laughs> but anyways, I'm trying to get my free seeds and wait. Whoa, oh! Um, Pip? Oh, did I just hear a little uh, toot come from your mouth? No, no, that was the toot. I farted, Louie. I just farted. Mm -hmm. Well, what if I did this, Pip? <laughs> Um, 
What's no, that noise? No. Okay. I was laughing. I was laugh. I was holding in a laugh at how funny you look. All right, fine. Well, how about this? You're going to get so scared going through one of these doors. Just go through whichever one you want. All right, Louie. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. All right, let me open this door. Oh, 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 um, oh. Pip, did you just get scared uh, by, like, the worst jump scare in my entire build? No, Louie. I just got really surprised. I saw my family hanging up here from leaves. No, get off of here. Get my family off of here. Um, Pip, if you break that, they're going to fall in the lava. No. Wait, no. Jeremy. <laughs> I'm sorry about this, Pip, but Jeremy is dead, and Jamesy is next. Die! Hey, no, no, yeah. Jamesy! You get in the lava! No, you know what? I'm gonna push you in the lava next. No, 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 no. I I'm checking out this next door, Louie. All right, Pip, go ahead. You're gonna hate this one. And I'm not going to look when I open this door. I'm going to open it, and I'm not going Look, and let me just sneak around here. Come on. Oh, wait, okay. It looks safe. Yeah, but. Anyways. Pip, if you fall in the lava, you're going to be turned into KFC. No, Louie, you just. You did not just say that. I know you're scared of that. Come on. Oh, my goodness. I don't want to turn into KFC. Is this jump even possible, Louie? Of course it is. Look, you go right to the edge of this one and to the edge of the next one. It's very difficult, but you can make it. Watch. Here we go. Okay, no, never mind. I'll make it easier. All right, Louie. Now it should be way easier. Come on. Just get around and start and go. Oh. Okay. All right, good jump, Pip. But can you make this next jump over here? Of course I can, Louie. Let's just jump over here. But, what? You cheated. Uh, you know what? Whatever. You have to jump down here now and use this fan to jump. Wait, there's a fan? Oh. Yeah, Pip. And you have to use it to get right here. I'm going to press the button and I'm just going to go for it. Oh, come on and go. No, oh, no, no, no. Um, Pip, how much health do you want? Uh, I I'm on full health, Louie. I haven't taken any damage. All right. Well, uh, you're kind of burning right now. Are you sure you're not turning into KFC? No, no, no. Don't say that word, Louie. I get flashbacks. All right. Come on, Pip. Just make these nice little simple fence jumps, and you'll be able to get some seeds. Wait. So this is what that button meant for free seeds? Yep, the seeds uh, spawned here, 100%. Okay, come well, on, let's just make this jump. <laughs> okay, one more jump left. Come on, come on. jumper and pip. Come on, go. Nice. I did it. All right, you can take those seeds and have a little nice light snack before you keep going. Nom, nom, nom. All right, pip, come on. You can follow me back through the front door now. Over here. Oh, Louie, this place is so easy. No, it's not. You've already screamed, what, three times? If I make you no. scream one more time, I win this bill challenge. No, Louie, I haven't screamed a single time. Uh-huh. Well, there's a few more rooms you have to do. Just follow me over here and go in here, Pip. How many rooms are there? Go ahead, Pip. Take a look in this room and see what you can find. Wait, what is that in the corner? It's a scary skeleton, and he's gonna eat you! No, no, he's not. I I'm leaving this room. What? Oh, the trap didn't work, guys. Pip didn't scream. Wait, Pip, leave that trap for last. That is going to be the best one in this entire base. Wait, it's just a roller coaster, Louie. How is that supposed to scare me? You'll see in a second. But anyways, come over here. Wait, what is over here? <gasps> pumpkins. Oh, pumpkins are really scary. But I can do it. <laughs> Stop making that noise, Louie. Come on, Pip, just scream! Oh, it's mm -mm. a graveyard with mm -mm. pumpkins in it! Woo! Nope, there's no more pumpkins. I'm removing them. What? No! Oh, guys, I have to think fast on my feet. I've got an idea. Whoa! <gasps> Pip! Oh, gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. oh, come on, scream! Louie, you're. you're going to make me scream. Come on. Oh, all right. Okay. I have two more rooms left in this place. Oh, come in here, Pip. 
Look at this one. Well, what's in here? It's just a hole. Oh, how about you jump in the hole and find out what's in there? Um, let me see if I can use my camera. Okay, it doesn't look like it. Go on, go. Wait, this isn't too bad, Louis. What's even down here? Oh, let me show you. Zombie invasion! No, 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 Whoa! no, stop! Oh, Pip, you died! But I don't know if you screamed or not. Guys, did that sound like Pip screamed? No, I didn't. I wasn't scared at all. Oh, well, you know what? The last trap I have is going to be the scariest one of them all. Oh, Louie, this won't affect me at all. All right, Pip. Hop in the roller coaster. Oh, I love roller coasters. Let's go for a ride. All right, go ahead. All right, Pip. You're going in three, two, one, go! Uh, that way, go! Oh, a lava pit? That's not scary at all! Spikes, that's not going to scare me, but wait, Come what's on. up here? That's got to scare <gasps> Pip, come on! Ooh, that's so fun, wait! Ah! No way, wait! You screamed! No, I didn't. I, no, I didn't, Louie. That was a hundred million that? percent a scream, and now you're gonna do it again! <laughs> No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Ah! Yes! I totally just scared you. Which means... I don't know how to say this to you, Pip, but I think I won this build challenge. No. No, that's that's impossible, Louie. Yep. And I did it all with slash slash scare. Wait. Slash slash what? Uh, 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 bye, Pip. I'm out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. Come back here. I'm going to get you. Oh, but if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Goodbye!